Though a coroner has ruled it was suicide, mystery and scuttlebutt still surround the death of rock star Michael Hutchins. And there's no way it's going to go away, not with what you're about to hear. Paula Yates, the In Excess singer's partner, tonight speaks out for the first time on why she believes the coroner got it wrong. She concedes Michael Hutchins was affected by drink and drugs on the night of his death and agrees with the coroner that he was depressed over her custody battle with her former husband, Sir Bob Geldof. But Michael Hutchins, she says, would never have taken the coward's way out. I left the court, I said, well, you know, this will kill Michael. It's been a lonely northern winter for Paula Yates. Only months ago, she and Michael Hutchins walked this English shore, looking forward to an Australian summer and making plans for their life together. It broke my heart when he died. It just broke my heart. It really did. I just... It's a terrible thing, you know. I... I did. I, I spent so long waiting for him, and it's like when he died, I, I now have to spend so long waiting for him again. Instead of joining Michael on tour in Australia, Paula came to Sydney for his funeral. Michael had been found hanged with a leather belt in a Sydney hotel room. Paula's last embrace was on a visit to the mall. I was just amazed how uh, cold he was. Couldn't believe it. And then I made the, the people at the, the morgue, they, they sent out for a duvet for me. And uh, we got a, a blanket, a duvet, and wrapped him up, tucked him in. Stupid, isn't it? It's kind of stupid, you know, he's dead. But, you know, I never thought that it would end, you know. He was the great love gone. Yeah, he was a great love gone, and he was just a, a beautiful, beautiful boy, you know. Couple guys from In Excess, Mike. When I first met Michael Hutchins 20 years ago, he was just a boy, full of excitement as In Excess set out to conquer America. Extremely willing to uh, throw it all the clothes out when they get hot. Put it that way. Within a decade, Michael and the band went from hitting the road in a combi van to travelling by limousine and private jet. And along the way, he met his biggest fan, the British TV star, Paula Yates. And I'm here with Michael Hutchins, who is the lead singer of In Excess. Who are they were both the just they 23, the and the chemistry was oh, obvious. In England, mm. everyone's very concerned about your trousers. Mm. I'm not your surprised. Trousers, yeah. And how would you describe Comfortably it? Comfortably, we dress. Comfortably, yes. Yeah. They look a little <laughs> tight to me. Now, um, how would you describe the music? Do you really think he was God's gift to women? Um, I don't think he was God's gift to every woman. I think he probably would have given quite a few women just a bit of stress. You know, a few grey hairs, but, uh, yeah, he was just a, a, so kind, so good, and so bad, you know, that's what you want. A bit of wickedness. A bit of everything. But you found him the sexiest man on earth, you said. Yeah, I did, but then I would, wouldn't I? Into you raise a glass for everyone. At that time, Paula Yates was in a miserable marriage to one of the most famous men in the world. Bob Geldof's Live Aid concerts for African famine victims had made him a saint in the eyes of the Brits. I was perceived as being the woman who dared to leave St. Bob. And... Uh, that's quite a sin in this country. And, and in this country, that, that, that certainly was perceived um, as quite a sin because people couldn't believe uh, not only had I left St. Bob but, but for an Australian kind of you know, rock rock god Was Geldof envious of Michael the rock star? It must be hard to be doing pubs when somebody else is doing stadiums 
Paula, was it a man fighting to get his wife back? Initially, yeah. But, yeah. It got a lot rougher than that. Yeah. It was terrible. It was just unimaginable. Her divorce settlement and her battle for custody of the three daughters she had with Bob Geldof left Paula deeply depressed. So much so that months before Michael's death, Paula took an overdose of pills and alcohol. I think I hoped it would make Bob realise that if he carried on pushing, it, it, people couldn't live like this. I think there was an element of that. Screaming for help, as they say. Yeah. So, uh... Yeah, just please stop. Just stop. And how close did you go that day, really, to going right over the edge? I was dead. Um, I was dead uh, for, for, I don't know, not very long, obviously. Uh, not very long at all. Paula and Michael were hounded everywhere by the paparazzi, who were desperate to get shots of their little girl, Tiger. To escape, they came here to Hastings-by-the-Sea. There were newspapers around the clock outside the house to follow us anywhere, and uh, there were...